This is going to be a quick video on getting good sharp scaling with 86 box. One of the biggest issues I had with 86 box when I was first using it is that it only offers two built-in filter methods, linear and nearest neighbor. Nearest neighbor would be great, but PC resolutions are constantly changing and nearest neighbor only works well with integer scaling. So that means the size of your windows will constantly change to give you the best image quality. If you use nearest neighbor without integer scaling, then you will experience distortion and shimmering if your window size doesn't match the exact resolution the emulator is outputting. Linear filtering will smooth things out, but I do not like 86 boxes implementation as it's way too blurry for my taste. If you use OpenGL 3.0 as the renderer, you do get the option of using shaders to give the display output different effects, like CRT simulations. But every CRT effect I tried seems to rely on specific resolutions to work well. So you will see things looking wrong at resolutions the effect wasn't designed for. Also, 86box currently only supports single pass shaders, but there are a lot of cool shader effects that won't work on 86box. If any of you know of a single pass CRT shader that works at any resolution, please let me know in the comments. The information in this video is as of 86box version 4.0.1 build 5111. And as far as I know, the current version is 4.1. Since 86box is in constant development, hopefully future versions will offer better built-in filtering methods. On a PC emulator, I really do not care much for CRT effects. It's nice to use for a novelty or for B-roll on a video, but all I really need is good sharp scaling. Fortunately, there is a RetroArch scaler that offers exactly this. I actually wasn't using 86box much because of these scaling issues. The shader I'm talking about is called pixel underscore aa.glsl and you can obtain it from the libretro github or if you have retroarch shaders installed you most likely already have it to enable this shader you must set the renderer to opengl 3.0 by clicking on view renderer and select opengl 3.0 core after that the view menu is going to have a new option called renderer options select that then in the shader section Click on Browse and go to the folder that contains the pixel underscore AA GLSL file. If you downloaded all the GLSL RetroArch shaders, then it will be inside the folder structure that's on the screen now. Click OK and the shader will be applied. Now you will get a much sharper image that doesn't distort or shimmer. Since this shader is actually smoothing things out, there is some slight blurring, but not enough to bother me. Here are some comparisons between the built-in filter options and the Pixel R shader. Using the nearest neighbor filter works best with integer scaling. Like I said before, PCs are constantly changing resolutions and that means integer scaling can get really annoying if your window size is constantly changing. When you disable integer scaling using nearest neighbor, there is going to be noticeable distortion and shimmering in graphics and text like you see here. Setting the filter to linear will smooth everything out and get rid of distortion and shimmering at the cost of blurring. This is way too blurry for me to the point of making 86 box unusable for me. Luckily, I found the RetroArch shader to give me some nice sharp filtering. Here is the nearest neighbor filter again. You can see distortion and shimmering, especially on text when I'm resizing the window. Now, when I switch to the Pixel Art shader, the distortion and shimmering is gone and it's a lot sharper than the linear filter making 86 box usable for my taste. If you had the same annoyance as I did with 86 box scaling, then try out the shader. This shader worked on my Windows machine with an Nvidia RTX 3080 GPU and on my Steam Deck. However, it does not work on my M1 MacBook Air, but I do find the linear filter there to be a little less blurry than on my PC. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.